Today we are talking about three reasons why investors are bullish on Palantir. The software firm Palantir has demonstrated robust performance this year. This success can be attributed to its substantial potential, notably within its integrated artificial intelligence platform for commercial enterprises, its strong leadership, and its fundamentally improved position compared to previous years. In this analysis, I will outline three reasons for my optimistic outlook on Palantir. Its diversification beyond government contracts, its forward-thinking leadership, and recent share repurchases. Since its inception, Palantir has primarily concentrated on government contracts, collaborating with various United States defense departments. Its software has been extensively used for intelligence analysis, counterterrorism efforts, and military operations. However, Palantir has also been expanding into the commercial sector, albeit on a smaller scale, with the introduction of its foundry platform tailored for commercial enterprises. A strategic move that not only secured additional capital for expansion, but also demonstrated Palantir's dedication to growing its commercial commercial business. Since its public listing, Palantir has significantly increased its investment in artificial intelligence technologies, developing solutions that utilize machine learning and predictive analytics. This focus on artificial intelligence aims to enhance the capabilities of their platforms for both government and commercial clients. Palantir has also established strategic alliances with major technology companies like Oracle and Microsoft to integrate its artificial intelligence capabilities with their cloud services. As part of its strategy to achieve profitability and business growth, Palantir has been rapidly expanding its artificial intelligence platform. This platform, optimized for generative artificial intelligence technologies, provides tools and infrastructure for data storage, processing, and integration, catering to various artificial intelligence applications. Within the first year of its launch, the artificial intelligence platform attracted more than 100 enterprise customers across diverse industries, including railroads and defense, securing 136 deals in the first quarter. This success highlights the platform's potential to significantly enhance operational efficiency for a broad spectrum of businesses. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives, who refers to Palantir as the messy of artificial intelligence, believes the software company is poised to become indispensable in the enterprise sector, particularly with the implementation of its artificial intelligence capabilities. He regards the artificial intelligence platform as transformational for the company. Examining the latest results, there is a noticeable shift in Palantir's core business from government to commercial. In the first quarter of 2024, the commercial segment accounted for 52% of the company's revenues, while in the first quarter of 2023, the government segment contributed 55% of the revenues. Palantir's chief executive officer, Alex Karp, who co-founded the company in 2004, has been instrumental in transforming Palantir into a major player in the technology industry. Known for his distinctive and unconventional leadership style, Karp's unique approach, bold statements, and innovative ideas have been pivotal. He envisions that every large organization worldwide will soon require a system with artificial intelligence capabilities, which Palantir offers through its artificial intelligence platform. Unlike smaller artificial intelligence companies that rely on chatbots and point solutions, Palantir integrates data in one place and streamlines workflows, offering a comprehensive vision that only a major disruptor can conceive. With Alex Karp at the helm, this vision appears likely to materialize. Furthermore, for a company engaged in disruptive innovations to truly disrupt, it requires visionary leaders who can resist short-term pressures from shareholders and effectively execute their vision. This is exemplified by Alex Karp. Over the past nearly four years, from June 30th, 2020 to March 31st, 2024, Palantir significantly diluted its shares by approximately 200%, increasing the total number of outstanding shares from 736.6 million to around 2.23 billion. However, Coupled with a more challenging macroeconomic environment over the past two years, this dilution affected investor confidence and impacted Palantir's share price before the artificial intelligence boom. The situation has now changed. Instead of selling equity, Palantir is repurchasing shares. At the end of the first quarter, Palantir had $3.90 billion in cash and equivalents, providing a strong position to execute share buybacks. During the earnings call, the company announced it had repurchased roughly 500,000 shares as part of its share repurchase program. By the end of the quarter, about 990 million shares remained available from the initial authorization. This share repurchase activity indicates a reduction in the number of outstanding shares, typically resulting in a higher concentration of stock ownership among existing shareholders. This move generally suggests that management believes the company is undervalued, even with Palantir trading at a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 7 
77 times. It is anticipated that more buybacks will be reported in the firm's second quarter report in early July. The consensus among Wall Street analysts regarding Palantir is to hold. This consensus is based on three buy ratings, six hold ratings, and four sell ratings assigned over the past three months. The average Palantir stock price target among 13 analysts is $22.55, indicating a downside potential of 6.6%. Palantir has evolved beyond its identity as a government contractor. It has become a pure artificial intelligence entity, expanding and investing in its commercial business through its artificial intelligence platform under dynamic leadership with the potential to disrupt the industry. Despite considerable hype surrounding its stock, the company seems to be in the early stages of realizing its artificial intelligence potential. The repurchasing of shares suggests that there is long-term upside potential for Palantir. In summary, Palantir's strategic shift towards commercial diversification, strong leadership under Alex Karp, and recent share repurchase activities collectively contribute to a promising outlook for the company. Palantir's growing emphasis on artificial intelligence, coupled with its solid financial position, positions it well for future growth and innovation. With that being said, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.